What is up? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Back with some more Metal Gear Solid 3 gameplay for you. And today I'm going to be talking about the reverse side of what I've been talking about in my last previous two videos with Metal Gear Solid. In my first one I was talking about how I feel like certain other games should be remade instead of Metal Gear Solid 3. My latest one I talked about how if they had to do a brand new Metal Gear game, what I would personally like to see them be done. But now I like to go on the other side of the spectrum. And honestly, before the remake for Metal Gear Solid 3 was announced... I honestly had a completely different feeling, and it's one that maybe some people might not understand, some might, but nonetheless, it's the feeling of, would it be better if this Metal Gear franchise just kind of stayed dead? And I'm not saying dead in the point of, like, you don't have, you know, remasters or them updating the game or bring it back to so that um, newer players can play it, stuff like that. I'm just talking about in terms of just brand new things, or even remakes for that matter, because I'll be honest with you, before Metal Gear Solid 3 announced they were having a remake, I was perfectly fine with the Metal Gear Solid franchise after Metal Gear Solid 5 just kind of going away permanently. And there's a lot of reasons why I felt that way personally. And just to so you know, Metal Gear Solid is one of my all-time favorite franchises. But why would I personally want it to stay dead? Well, I got a lot of reasons. I think some you're going to obviously see coming from a mile away, but there's others that maybe aren't so obvious, but let's get to the obvious one. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, I just feel like, I think a lot of people are in the same camp as me in terms of this group. I'm not saying that you can't make brand new Metal Gear Solid game. I'm not saying it's not possible, but until it's done, I'm still going to be a little bit skeptical about it. Then obviously the big elephant in the room is when Konami and Hideo officially parted ways, I think a lot of people are pretty much like, well, you know, that's kind of the end for the Metal Gear franchise. You can't do a Metal Gear game without Hideo. And I don't think that's 100% true, but I will say I'm also not saying that they should definitely do it 100%. Because obviously Metal Gear Solid is a very you know fan-loved franchise and you want to do it correctly. I do think there's a lot of talented people, but do I think there are talented people within Konami to do it? Eh... And honestly, I do believe there's talented people, but once again, as we all know what business is, it, it's it's not the people underneath, it's the people on top that you really worry about. And I don't know if Konami, I mean, they got enough on their plate just trying to do Silent Hill 2 Remake, and that's going to be an interesting thing whenever that comes out. But with Metal Gear Solid, it's just that a lot of people, and I 100% I agree and I respect it, are just basically like, you know, you can't have Metal Gear if I had Deo. And let's just be honest, one thing I do want to point out is... Yes, Hideo, and I would say he's my overall favorite game developer um, of all time, just in terms of a singular person. He's my favorite. I've always enjoyed the narrative of his games, no questions asked. But let's also stop back and, like, at the same time, he's the only one who did anything because, as we know, video games, they're made by thousands of people. Yes, his direction and what he wants to do is important, but let's stop back and, like, oh, he's the only guy who did everything and everyone just stood around and watched. You need a lot of people. So it's not just one guy, but overall, I do get it and I understand it and I do respect it. So, yeah, not having head to head is going to be a big reason why a lot of people will be really kind of nervous about having brand new Metal Gear Solid titles. But there's another reason for me personally that I believe is probably the biggest reason why I kind of had the um, feeling of I just didn't really care about seeing another Metal Gear game. I was completely content with the ones we had and just them being brought back over time and even not even having a remake possibly. Is just the fact that one of the things I like about Metal Gear Solid, especially when I played and completed 4, is I just like that it had a, an ending. You know, I just feel like one of the rarest things I think with a lot of franchises, you see this all the time, is that things just, it's rare for things to truly end. Like, it'll seem like they're done, they're end, it's its like an ending, and then like, you know, maybe a few years later, they'll bring it back, or maybe a decade later. But things rarely have just a definite end. Things just keep getting brought back, remade, and make another sequel or a prequel. And I'm not necessarily saying that's a bad thing. But I think that's one of the things I loved about Metal Gear Solid is it had a beginning and it seemed like it had an end. Now, I'll give him credit. I didn't think it was um, possible to do another Metal Gear Solid game after 4, but they did one with 5 and it was a very enjoyable title. I do believe that, you know, I, I feel like a lot of people feel the same thing with that one. If some of the things made into the um, original title that were cut that would had a really satisfying, complete 
conclusion for that. That would have been perfect. But still, it was a solid, awesome game. So I give them a lot of credit for pulling that off. But the thing I like about 4 is it just felt like it was a satisfying conclusion. It was an ending. And I just feel like at that point, they just never made a Metal Gear Solid game after that. I'd be perfectly fine. But I give them credit. They made 5. So I definitely did enjoy that. But to me, I just feel like... I didn't really need any other Metal Gear Solid game. I just feel like, you know, hey, use that talent and create new IPs. Because I think that's something I do agree with a lot of people. It seems like a lot of games we always look forward to are always from the famous IPs. We need some new ones. And for Metal Gear, I just thought it kind of run its course. It did its thing. It, and it was great. And especially after Metal Gear Survives. It's like, you know, let's just pull the plug and end it. And let's just start doing other things. Because... One of the things I feel like a lot of franchises get, and I think I notice this more in television shows personally, is like they they start off really well in the beginning. They come out like gangbusters. And then as they keep going on season after season, year after year, maybe decade, you just get to that point where you're like, man, this isn't, it isn't what it used to be. Not that it's terrible. Sometimes it does go terrible, but... It's just, it's kind of a huge drop-off. It's not necessarily that it's bad. It's just that it's inevitable. You know, you keep doing the same thing over and over. Eventually, you just kind of get to a point where it's just like it should have ended a long time. I, I think um, one recent example I could definitely think of personally, and I wasn't a big fan of the show, but I just remember how popular it was when it came out. It was like The Walking Dead. Like, you remember the first few seasons? I mean, that was must-see TV for everybody. Everybody was talking about that show. Every episode was just like a huge discussion. Now you just look at it. You know, I know I just finished off its recent like spinoffs or something. But the point is, is like, you know, they'll be having episodes and not too many people are really talking about. It. Not that I'm saying that it's bad. I don't know. I haven't watched it in years. But the point is, it it isn't like something that everyone's um, you know going crazy about. And I feel like it got to that point where it's like. Yeah, it's not terrible, but it's like we've seen the same thing over and over and just needed to end a long time ago. And, and I know they obviously have a lot of content that they could still do from the comics, but the point is it's just like eventually things just like dry up and they get kind of stale when you keep doing them over and over. It just feels like, you know, you got to pull the plug. I think another thing is a lot of like, you know, for me personally, a lot of anime shows, they go on forever and it's like, dude, this thing doesn't need to be 500 episodes. I mean, you just... It's basically the definition of filler right here. You just, you know, let, let's just end it when, you know, let's go out on top. Let's end it when it goes out on top. And that's just something I felt personally at Metal Gear Solid. I mean, as I said, I'm all for new ideas. And if you can come up with something new and cool, I'm all for it. And as I said, I came up with my personal idea, what I would like to see if they did have to make a brand new title. But if that never comes to be, I'm perfectly satisfied and you know, content with just the franchise just not making another game. I have no problem with that personally. Because, as I said, I, I like to see new titles, new ideas, new things. But that doesn't mean I'm necessarily against anything new. As long as it's not something that's going to hurt the franchise in the long run. It's going to bring new ideas, new fans, and just be a solid, well-respected entry. And I'm not one of those guys that always feels like it's got to be the greatest thing ever. Just be a solid, respectable entry that I can look back and say, you know what, this was a solid, good game. That's all that matters. It doesn't have to be the greatest Metal Gear game ever, but just a solid, respectable entry. But long story short, if they, you know, if they do decide to make brand new Metal Gear games, I have no problem with playing them. But if they never do, I have no problem with that either. And as I said, until this remake was announced, I was perfectly enjoying the original titles I can easily play anytime I want to that I'm enjoying right now but that is my opinion guys I want to hear your guys opinion I know I raised the poll asking you guys this but if you are for or against you know brand new titles or you don't want to see brand new titles let me know your personal reasons why is it has to do with you know hey Hideo Konami have parted ways or is it kind of just for the fact that hey you thought like the Metal Gear franchise had a you know satisfying conclusion or do you have something different that I didn't um, lay out in this video? Let me know down in the comment section down below. But thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And hopefully I can see you guys back on the next one. Thank you very much. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope to see you all later. Peace.